Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Wooly Warrior from Fortnite. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. All right, I'm going to have her kind of, kind of uh, bent over in kind of a roaring pose. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. She's roaring. It's hard for me to say that, apparently, roar, roaring, woof. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna have her bent over and, you know, with her arms up and, and yelling to the sky because she's, she's a, you know, woolly mammoth, you know, a monster, or, uh, well, I was gonna say dinosaur, but is it a dinosaur? I mean, because it's a mammoth now. So someone tell me, you, you, you guys are smarter than I am, is a mammal, because it's a mammoth, right, is a mammal still considered a dinosaur? I mean, it has to be, right? Or does, I guess, does the dinosaur, is it only for the uh, lizard type? Right? Oh, you know what? Hey, you know what I'm doing? You know what I'm doing? The wrong thing. I always tell you guys, don't get focused on the details until you have the entire thing sketched out. I didn't have it sketched out yet, so I need to finish this up and then I gotta finish my vegetables and then I can get to the dessert, right? That's how I have to look at it. Okay. And because I have her bent over, kind of hunched, I don't have the legs all in a, in a big you know, superhero stance. I've got him just standing here. So, I've got to, ooh, there's ice on her shoes. That's kind of cool. There's ice all over her. That's really neat. I'm looking at a picture from the store like when you buy it. So I'm just kind of, you know, uh, looking at the details and noticing some really fun stuff. But it's the same, it's the same uh, costume that we've always drawn for the, um, oh, what is her name? But the, you know, the, the fighter, the combat, you know, the same, same kind of costume. So it's nothing crazy or different. And I don't mean to say that in a negative way, like they're not really trying, but to try to say that there's, we've done this before, you know, so we can, we can kind of get through this and, and know what we're in for. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that also means, again, that I just have to draw just the same uh, anatomy and details to get us going. Okay, so that also means, let's see, what do we do for this hand? Let's do the side, I guess, because it's in a fist. The fingers are gonna come in like that. That's all we're gonna see. Right, and then on this one, yeah, she's got that arm thing. Everybody has it, I guess. Uh, Okay, I will, I will talk about how sometimes they get lazy and I'm glad they're changing it up because you guys pay for these things, right? And you want different, you want variety, you want, you want to get something that's more than just, you know, a new, new colorway. That's one thing I, I, I never really understood about some of this stuff that everybody likes. It's just, well, it's now it's just, it's red and now it's got camouflage, you know? Um, hey, more power to you if that's what you like. But you know, there's a part of me that is like, hey, I'm, I'm paying for this. You want me to pay you five dollars for a, a different colorway? Like, no, no, sir. No, thank you. No, sir. But uh, you know, if that's what you like, you know, go for it. You you do what makes you happy. But for me, there's a part of me that's like, well, I, I want a little something different. So you know, some of this stuff, it, it would be nicer if it was just a new design. And so I I tend to 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 uh, gravitate towards the 
newer designs. Just because they're different, you know? And I, I like that variety. Like like chips, you know, you gotta you gotta buy the, the variety bag, you know. You can't just get one big bag. Well I mean I do, <laughs> but uh, you know, you gotta you gotta mix it up. Okay, let's make a big old huge mask for her. Now I can do the dessert. I can do the details like I was talking about. And we're gonna have her head facing a different way. Let's see, I want our eyes more looking at you, right? Yeah. Okay, so here I gotta get these details down real fast because, again, I have her at a different angle and I can't turn my paper, so I can't just curve the way I'm used to. I have to try to do this. Oh, uh, by, by just moving my hands. And it's, it's crazy difficult. Try to draw, if you want a challenge, try to draw without moving your paper. Man, it's difficult. Okay, so I'm gonna draw it like that. Is it over her chin? A little bit, a little bit. Okay. Um, where was I going with that whole rant earlier about uh, different characters? I don't know. Okay, and then the eyes are gonna be like that, but they're covered up by everything else. So, I'm gonna go kind of crazy with the horns here, or the tusks, I guess. Draw them kind of, kind of big. Just because I can. I mean, that's kind of the thing is, you know, I'm, I'm I'm trying to follow the character, but I'm also having a little fun with it just because I can I can go crazy with it. Okay, and see, let's draw the ears. They have some ice on them. This one only can see that basically. So, okay, I think I might be ready. And so I'm going to erase. Oh no, I'm not. I gotta draw the, the ice that's on the, the horns or I'm gonna forget. If I don't do it now, I'm gonna forget. Okay, that's still on the camera. Right there, okay, no higher than that. Okay, so I think I'm ready to go to Sharpie now. So I'm going to erase some of this, some of these pencil lines because uh, I want the Sharpie to stand out, not the pencil. And these are a lot of sketch lines, because I throw a lot of sketch lines down trying to figure out where I'm gonna go until I'm ready to just get darker and start drawing darker lines. But I don't need those, I just have to go with the sketch. I mean, the, the, the confident lines, right? Okay, ready to go, good enough for me. So, Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point and can find the things the fine point can't quite find. So I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased a lot of the sketch and what's left is a little ghost of an image I'm gonna trace and follow along. I've got her in a, a crouched down shouting kind of pose. She's not shouting, but kind of like as if the, the mammoth was, was screaming, you know? Think of it that way. So I'm gonna start off with the eyes and I have her head, if her head, if it was facing you straight like this, her head is turned and up just a little bit of an angle. So think about that whenever we're drawing. I'm gonna draw her eyes, the top of the eyelids first, like this, just to see if I've got them in the right, I've got them level at an angle and facing the right way. That's kind of what I'm going for here. And it looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the, the iris, the colored part like that, there we go. So I've got it where I want it, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a pupil. 
and I'm just gonna dab a few, I'm gonna dab a few little um, dots for the pupil because these Sharpies will start to bleed when that's, it's that tiny. So I'm kind of controlling uh, the amount of ink that's going on and kind of controlling that I'm implying certain lines of not drawing everything. So that being said, I can only draw certain parts and kind of hint at eyeballs. So I'm gonna draw a little bit coming in like this, a little bit of a, like a cat eye makeup and come down for the eye and ply, but that's it. I'm not gonna draw anymore. I'm not gonna draw the underside because it'll bleed. So I'm gonna kind of do the same thing there. And this side, the eyebrow is gonna kind of come into the um, bridge of the nose right here. And let me go ahead and draw the top of the uh, mask and that'll kind of guide us as to where, how much of the eyebrow we can draw. So really none, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm gonna kind of thicken it up right here like there's an eyebrow there, thicken it up here like there's an eyebrow there, but that's it. That's all I can draw at this angle. So if yours is different, you can add more, but I have that brow or the hood uh, so low over the eyebrows that you can't even see them. So that's why I wanted to draw that line first and guide us. Start, stop points. That's what I call them. So we know where to start, where to stop. So for the nose, we can draw the bridge because normally when it's pointed straight at you, I don't like drawing the lines of it because it, it exaggerates it a bit. I let color take care of that with an ink. Black ink, I, I just imply certain things. Now, because it's more of an at an angle, you can see that, that edge a little bit more. So I can go ahead and bring it down and follow all the way down to the nose. But see how I still didn't connect it? Still kind of implying it's not a hard edge like an eyeball. So I just kind of play around with things like that and, and, uh, and understand my inking technique. Okay, so a little bit of a nostril here and we'll draw the outside of the nostril like that. And that's it. I'm not gonna draw any more because again, I'd rather let color take care of it and imply certain parts like this mouth. There's the lips, like that. And that's, that's the open part of the mouth. And I'll go ahead and give her just a little bit of an open mouth, just a hair, but you can't really see it much, okay? But that'll give me a little place to, to uh, draw lips a little bit lower, like this, bring it in. And I can draw the top lip. like that. So it's not perfect, but it's it's uh, what we can do with these tiny Sharpies, okay? So let's draw the edges of her face and then we'll draw the uh, the rest of the mask. Or what would you call that? Is that a hat? Because it's not really a mask, right? A mask covers your face. This is more of a, a mammoth hat. Okay. And I'm gonna thicken this up just a little bit too because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. Width, W-I-D-T-H, the, the, how, how wide the line, ink line is. Okay, so I'm gonna draw her chin, then kind of play around with the uh, edge of the mask, okay? And so her ear would be here, so I'll go ahead and just draw just a little bit of the ear, because at this angle, you're seeing some of it. Normally you wouldn't because, we'll draw a little bit of hair there too. Normally you wouldn't because uh, the way the, the, the mask is, hood, whatever you want to call it, but because it's over her face a little bit, you can kind of see some of it. Um, or at that angle, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I think I want to switch over now to the big Sharpie because that's all the fine detail I want to add. And let me, let me straighten this out a little bit. Um, I want to add the rest with color and uh, we'll go ahead and do that line like that just to imply something. And I wanna do a little bit of something, bring it in just a little bit like that, and that's it. I'm gonna walk away, walking away. All right, so because I have her head kind of at an angle, just gotta remember that whenever we're designing. So I'm going to draw the icicles. I know it looks like, well, no, I won't draw the icicles. I'm sorry, just remember there's icicles that are gonna come down, so we gotta remember that and not draw through them. Okay, so the mask, it's gonna come up here like this. Now see how thick that is? That's what I was saying. I was trying to, to match it just a little bit because I, I knew how thick this was going to be. And uh, I'll draw the edge of it over here like this. Now this is what I was talking about. The icicle is hanging down right here. So I wanna make sure I don't draw through that. That's what I was trying to do. So her neck's gonna come down like this 
and then that's what we're gonna continue. But for now, we're on the the mask, the, the hat. I gotta figure out what it called. We're gonna call it a hat from now on. Okay, so here's the hat nose, which is curled back under itself like that. This side is coming in like this. There we go. So remember there are icicles. So I'm gonna draw this. Uh, well, no, let's draw this one. Let's draw this tusk right here first. Okay, and remember it has some ice on it, so I'm gonna do a weird little bulbous thing like that, then come down and connect, and I'll show you why in a second. Then I'm gonna come down here for this icicle. And then connect it like that. So, see how now it's kind of bumpy? I'm gonna play around with just a little bit of a line like that, but not draw the entire thing because I want color to take care of this. Color is gonna make it um, defined as, as ice. And because I, I don't wanna outline ice with black because it, it, it kinda of takes away from the clear, uh, watery uh, frozenness of it, I'm gonna let uh, color take care of that, okay? Okay, so just keep that in mind whenever we do go these over here too. So this tusk, I'm gonna come over here, draw it out to the side like this, and now I'm gonna get a little crunchy. It says crunchy. And then come over here and connect it like this. Connect it under like that. So same thing. See how I got a little, little crunchy on top? Gonna do something like this. There we go, perfect. All right, so. Let's see, we can see a little bit of the eye, so we'll go ahead and just draw like that, right? And so I'm gonna draw some crunchy top. Let's draw the, the ice on there, like that. I'm gonna draw his ear, and again, crunchy top. Ear, like this. Go ahead and connect it. Ooh, why is my paper bubbling up? I guess my hands are just all sweaty. I'm gonna try to re-tape re it down. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, so let's keep going now. So now we're just drawing the basic stuff we've done on Oliver. We just gotta remember some crunch, you know? A little bit of crunch on the shoulders, a little bit of crunch on that shoulder, and then draw the basic uh, body of this character. I can't remember the name of it. I was talking about this during the sketch. I can't remember what she is. But it's the same suit that we always draw for the warrior type, you know? So there's her backpack strap. So we can draw her shoulder now. I'm gonna come in like this. There's the bottom of her arm to the elbow. There's her bicep, like this. There's the bend of her arm to the uh, um, glove that she's wearing. Let's do something like that. Do the other part of her arm like this and draw it up like that and it's the back of her hand so basically because she's in a fist like this that's all you're seeing you can't see much besides the back and the knuckles so we're just gonna draw the back of her hand other side over here and the pinkies are tucked in like that we'll go ahead and just draw the knuckles like this and that's all you can really see like that go ahead and draw the crease like this and there we go I'll add just a little bit extra just to, you know, uh, make it come alive, something like this. But I don't want to go too crazy because you can't really see much anyway. It's just the back of the hand. All right. Okay, Ooh, let me connect this real fast. Something like that. There we go. And she does have like, like fur. You know, like this whole suit is because it's, you know, it's a woolly, woolly fur suit, uh, but it's mostly painted. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Oh, you know what? The other ear. I didn't draw that. You can see a little bit of it back there. So that's, that's what I wanted to put in. All right. So do you get the stance? Does that make sense now? Um, it is a suit. So I'm going to draw like the, the costume edge like this and then build off of that. Okay. So we can draw her, her waist down like this. And again, she's kind of hunched over to, to yell and scream, you know, the charging roar of the, of the monster. And uh, so her, her, uh, her waist is a little 
bent in, like she's pooched out her stomach because she's arched, basically is what I'm trying to say. So her chest, we're gonna draw her breasts like this, come in, and then her stomach. So see, it's all kind of curved a little bit. Her stomachs are gonna be, stomachs, her stomach is going to be a little hunched over like that, and then that's where the belt's gonna be. Okay, so let's draw her other arm. Here's the bicep to the bent, the, the bend of the arm, the crook, as I like to call it, the elbow, to her glove thing. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was going on a rant about earlier, about the, the regular design, how it's the same stuff over and over again. Not always, but things like this are what drive me crazy. What's the point? Why this gloved uh, thing on her hand? No one ever uses it. it it's never acknowledged but it's almost like a wrist communicator like beep, beep 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 and they talk you know but it's it's never used so i just don't know why they keep it on there other than it's just you know the same uh outfits used for certain things and that's where i get it that's where i was getting into the whole i like the new outfits i like new design because um it's something different. It's not the same stuff over and over again, like this arm piece. And that's my, that's my Fortnite rant. All right. Okay, so this thing, uh, this thing, this hand, same thing, but I've got it facing you. So you can see pretty much like that, okay? We're gonna draw this part and then these fingers and uh, you can see this edge. So I'm gonna draw the thumb out like this and it's wrapped over the other th the fingers. So I wanted to draw that first. Then I can draw the back side of the fingers here. And then the pinky is the only one you can really see anything of. Everything else you just see like the front of the knuckles. Like that. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of extra detail. Oh yeah, she's wearing gloves. I forgot about that. Um, uh, just to show the 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 bend is the bend is the bend is of the the hand is you know just some of the the creases like that so it's not just a flat piece you can see that it's 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 in use and it bends and it's got folds okay all right there we go so I'm gonna draw her belt and it's the The Fortnite belt. <laughs> Just something simple like that. Again, you know, it's what Fortnite does. It's how they design them. We'll do that center part in a second. And uh, so now I've got her kind of hunched over a little bit. So you can see um, her legs and her waist. Okay, so because she's hunched over, this leg is gonna come out here, but we gotta remember there are straps going across. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and draw the strap across because I know where it's going to be based on my sketch. And I can, I can poof out the material a little bit more like it's the straps holding in the material. So I'm just kind of doing something like that. Now, there is ice on her costume, so we gotta remember those parts. Let's draw this leg over here. And this is where I'm gonna draw the first piece of ice. Again, I'm not gonna draw the inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that subtly with the other Sharpie in a second. Like this. And I wanted to draw it like this first because I wanted to get to her uh, her crotch and her leg to show you how it's kind of bent in a little bit. So um, there's gonna have a bend in her leg like this, and then it's gonna come down to where her knee is. So that means her thigh is gonna be like this, bent in for the strap, and then her crotch is gonna be right here, okay? So now I'm gonna add just a little bit of creases and folds because again, I've got her hunched over, and so that bends a lot of stuff here. Gonna connect that. So, if you're thinking of the front of her costume, think of it like that is her her uh, um, zipper, you know? Okay, there we go. So, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of, of uh, 
fold. That's what I'll do a tutorial on, bends and folds. A little bit of crunch and fold shows that your uh, costume is stressed out from uh, use and, and it, it makes it come alive, you know? Okay, so let me draw real quick her, her center middle piece and, and I guess her breast will do like this. So I can draw, we'll start here. I'm gonna come around and draw the pill-like shape. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit to accent that her breast is out more than her stomach. And I can bring this around. And I'm gonna go ahead and utilize that strange line I put right there and connect it like that. So I'm gonna come in here, out, and see you can do stuff like that for, for bends and folds to accent what's inside and what's outside. So we'll do the same thing here, watch this. Booyah, look at that. By knowing what's in front and what's on top, I can show that her breasts are out more than her stomach by where those lines are. So it's just little things like that you gotta think of and remember, and you can uh, highlight your own drawing and, and make it really, really, you know, explode with excitement. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so let's finish up her legs. And she has kind of a, a, a bone protrusion knee pad here. So I'm going to bring it out like this. And almost like a, like a, a what do you call it? A uh, spinal cord that's got like the discs that hang out, you know? There we go. Let me, let me accent it. Okay, and so we're gonna draw her leg in like this. This is where it's strapped in. And let's go ahead and finish it here. Let's, we might as well, right? So it's gonna have the traditional Fortnite shin protector. And it's got a strap going across. So I'll go ahead and draw that first because I'm following my sketch. I know where it's gonna be and I want it to be in front. Continue underneath. Come down like this and her leg is behind it, so now I can draw uh, the material, then the boot, and connect it down here, and draw the toe, the front of the foot kind of pointing at you, and just remember there's some ice on it, so we're gonna draw it crunchy. I don't know why I decided to say crunchy, but I guess kind of because it's ice, so I'm, I'm making it a little oof. I'm making it a, a, a sound effect for drawing. There we go. Okay, so this will be the front of the foot, kind of like that. There we go. All right, so let's finish up this leg here. And it's just, just like that, same thing, a little, little bent in. And just gotta remember the ice that's on top. So I'm gonna make some hard edges like this, not connect it, same thing here not connect it, come back in a second to finish it. I'm gonna do some bends like that. And there's no uh, kneecap or anything there. Well, there's no um, knee guard there. God, why can't I think of words? I don't word right. I don't word very good. All right, so there's the top of her pants. Again, more ice. We'll do one more like that. Let's go ahead and finish them up so we can we can uh, we can make it crunchy all right uh, let's go ahead and add a few creases just because we know it's it's cloth all right and let's finish it up so we're just drawing the boot now so I'm gonna bring it down here I'm gonna draw the heel let's go ahead and draw the front too come in like that come down here draw that crunchy ice toe and if that's annoying you, that's the last time I'm ever gonna say it, don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna draw that heel like this and add just some stress, like a bend. And there we go. Something like that. That'll be the, the uh, laces, what that's gonna be. Okay, so there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is the Wooly Warrior from Fortnite. 
So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.